The conference, organized in commemoration of the 2017 International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, had participants drawn from the 36 states of the Federation and Abuja. And youths constituted the majority of the population at the event with the cardinal focus of checking the scourge of drug and substance abuse. The World Drug Report from the UN Office on Drug and Crimes for 2014 rated Nigeria number one in cannabis sativa seizure, while the NDLEA says in 2015 alone it seized narcotic drugs valued at 22 billion naira. These statistics paint a grim picture of the sheer extent of the problem of substance abuse, not to mention its attendant effects, one which stakeholders say makes the problem a national emergency. For us, the menace of drug abuse is something that is threatening to kill all of us. So we believe it is in our enlightened self-interest to rise in unison, join forces and combat it. The problem of substance abuse is very widespread as it affects all strata of society. Young and old, even married women are not left out. And in suggesting how to reverse the trend, the Niger State Deputy Governor said educating Nigerians from the early stages is a viable option. So I think what they need mostly is for them to, to sustain them, give them upbringing. And just like I, one of the speakers suggested that right from the primary school to second school, they should have that, a, a subject that have to do in terms of educating them. The issue of making laws to help nip the problem in the bud was also thrown up by Honorable Peter Patterson, a member of Nigeria's House of Representatives, who was the guest speaker at the event. We make laws, you know, to strengthen the various um, agencies of government saddled with the responsibility to implement the laws and ensure that different acts are discouraged. The conference with the theme, recognizing drug abuse as a national emergency, has ended. Godfrey Obimata, Galaxy News, Abuja.